one from dragging the line podcast i'm your host with the most one more sanchez and joining me live on zoom please welcome daniel marks how you doing today sir what's up man how you doing bro good man thank you for being on the show you're a close friend of mine i i saw you doing your thing i was like hey from one host to another let me plug you <laughs> absolutely man so tell us a little bit about your show what's the mark show about so, so pretty much the Mark show is just pretty much a family channel that people of all ages could have you know, fun with. We started we started the channel two years ago, but the idea came four years ago. So we started the channel back in 2019, but the, my idea to start a channel with my kids came back in 2017 because my kids was younger. They watched a lot of family YouTube videos and stuff and doing crazy stuff and challenges and things like that. And I was like, oh, so I'm, I think we could do something like that. Let me look into that. And so I talked to the kids about it and it's okay. It was like, at the time, it was okay, cool. Let's see. Pretty much I did two years of homework. So I literally watched videos, like get the lingo down, what people are saying or doing and learning how to edit videos, make a thumbnail, just the whole nine. You no, know, I wanted to learn from the ground up how to get that mm -hmm. stuff done. And you know, me, myself, I wanted to take some time to learn it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna give myself two years. And then once I'm able to learn it and, and network with people through Twitter, that's how uh -huh. I was. I started to get like more. Hey, you should do it. You should push it. And one thing I learned from other YouTubers on Twitter is that hey, if you have a cell phone, you can make a you can make a YouTube video. That's all you need. All you need is a phone. Yeah. You can make a video real easy. And so just started doing that. I start, actually I started practicing talking to the webcam by myself using Snapchat because uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like to do a YouTube video, and you have to remember you are initially talking to nobody. You're just talking to yourself technically <laughs> and so what i would do is on snapchat i would just talk about my day or what's going on and then if i saw something funny or stupid I'd, man y'all listen to this crap and so i got more comfortable doing that because <laughs> yes you could start talking but honestly you like you get nervous real easy real fast and so i kind of started with that because i knew that hey at some point i'm gonna have to just go with it for these youtube videos and from that point on i got more comfortable and talked to the kids that hey you know what kind of things would you want to do get ideas from them and it's just like that and from that point on so okay let's go ahead and, and make our first video and then like i could say hey what can i do for an intro honestly my first intro if you go back to my very first year of videos my intro is pretty much you know kids give me the idea i use cheerios and i spelled out the mark show in, in stop motion i downloaded a stop motion app and i just took pictures of the cheerios when i edited together it made literally a like 60 to 70 frame picture into five seconds and i lied that was tiresome just doing that alone was like this sucks yeah, i see yeah. how much work it takes to make yeah. a video just by creating the, the actual intro. Once I got it done, I said, like, okay, cool. It looked good enough for me, for us. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do and just had the kids involved and just go from there. Let their personalities shine and stuff like that. So just took it from there and been doing it ever since. Now, I've seen you talk about sports. You've done movie reviews. Out of all those segments, which ones yeah. do you enjoy doing the most? For me personally, I love talking about my I'm a big and that's the reason why I love doing videos is because I'm 41 years old. I know there's other people like me, 40 uh -huh. or older, that collect toys to this day still from their childhood. So I love talking about toys, action figures, Funko Pops, anything that you can collect. It could be baseball cards, basketball cards, stuff like that, anything that I could collect. So that's probably my favorite. But overall, honestly, I just love doing videos in general. You and I are the same age, I'm 40. I see that you have uh, the new school He-Man and I've seen G.I. Yeah. Joes and I'm like, why are you giving those away? That's going to be collectible. As a whole, what made you want to give those kind of gifts away? And I started doing giveaways a lot last year during COVID. Hey, we're in hard times right now. And anything I could do to make people smile, like you know, to give back to help other people, I'm going to do. So like yeah. from my Funko Pop giveaways to my toy giveaways, my PS5 giveaway for Christmas last year was a big deal. Yeah, like people love that. I told people that that's literally the reason why I'm doing it. It's, it's not for the recognition. It's more of, hey, 2020 was rough for all of us. And if I could do yeah. something to put a smile on somebody's face, and I will. And that's when I gave the, all the giveaways and stuff. And the people enjoyed it. People was able to see that, hey, I'm genuine. It's nothing, anything that's behind it. It's just I want to give back and help other people as much as I can. That's why I like to do volunteer work to help out, help people. 
that's another thing. Another video I love doing, I love doing volunteer work, like giving mm -hmm. blood or whatever. Just say, hey, if I could do it, you could do it. Whenever you do the segment, how long does that take you from beginning to end? By the time you edit, how long does that take you to put out that video Ooh. on average? So it could, if I record to probably take me, true, and true story is going to probably take me an hour and a half maybe less no that's not bad at all that's not bad no okay so this is weird so whenever i have an idea for a youtube video i, I guess i have that photographic memory or some, something like that to where i could easily vision and play the whole video out in my head without mm -hmm. recording like i know what topics i want to hit i know i want to edit and film certain things i already know what my closing will be i could literally see it in my head early i just have to go and do it that's very weird do you have notes prep notes do you have like bullet points or do you you know do you have something that you read out of actually no every video i've done is strictly just me talking there's been a few times I've done a one take. There's been a couple of times where I'm able to just, cause it's, it's just me talking. It's just me talking about some toys that I love to collect and uh -huh. just my first impression of them. And then I go from there. There's been a, a few videos where I've done literally one take. And I'm like, oh damn, I'm done. I'm literally done. I just need to cut it together. Right. But there's been times where I'm like, damn it, what I know I want to say, it just comes out backwards or weird, whatever. Uh, so there's been times yeah. where it took me like a good 30, 40 minutes of footage before I could get what I want. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum. Hell, even for my kids, like my kids, <laughs> for sure for them, it, it takes a while because especially my youngest one when she gets on a roll or she stays I'm like girl okay we gotta redo this come on over again because she likes to be good like zoe really can you have a smile she wants to get like one of those weird grins kind of deal but <laughs> yeah it's weird she does that every once in a while i guarantee tonight she's gonna probably do that tonight as well but overall once i get everything filmed and cut and such it's about, about an hour and a half so it's not long the at all Something that I like that you do is sometimes you incorporate life event moments. This is me just following you. I remember for your son's birthday, he, he didn't know and you gave him that birthday gift and he was just surprised. He was like sitting at y'all in the kitchen table. It was the Xbox yeah, the S. The new one, it was something huge and, and you captured that moment. And, and I like to look at that because it comes, it's, it's what you said, it's that you're down to earth, you're showing parts of your life, part of the family and that was a happy moment because he didn't, you could tell, he didn't even expect it. When I saw that, I was like, that was pretty cool. Because you have, adults kids teenagers fan base have you ran into a situation where someone left like a negative or nasty comment and what did you do to that if if they have you received anything um, like that honestly no i've never had a negative comment like true story I, i've never had a negative comment about that because i try to make it clear from the very beginning hey our channel is all about having fun having a good time no negative negativity it's just as us talking about stuff like some of my videos if you read the comments it's just us talking about hey can you talk about this can you mention this or have you seen this out there yeah i've seen that have you seen about this conversation like comments are more conversation pieces which is crazy it's not really too many comments it's more hey can you do this or try this so it's, it's all been positive stuff it's all been really cool stuff great, great feedback from the, the people, the subscribers, watch our channel, the fans. It, it's, it's been awesome. I really don't have no negative comments. I'm glad that you haven't had ran into those situations because sometimes you can fall deep into it. For some reason, dude, somebody like Photoshop nasty pictures of my wife, and that's why I deleted everything. Dude, uh, I didn't... For just for no reason, just for interviewing a boxer that he didn't like. But it comes with the territory. Yeah. So what is something that you're working on? My mind's always rolling with ideas and stuff that I want to do. And my daughter, my kids give me ideas. And one idea I want to do is gaming, but not the gaming you think. I want to do cell phone gaming, mobile gaming. Okay. But yeah, I'm always on my cell phone all day, all, all the time. Everybody. Download a game and just film it and talk about it and play the game. Because a lot of people do gaming, like for Twitch, online gaming. But you don't see too many mobile games out there. People doing that uh -huh. for mobile games. So that's uh, I've been thinking about doing too as well, like the mobile games I want to do. Yeah, and then don't they have FIFA and Madden on mobile now? They have everything. Like there's so many mobile games that you could download, like from sports, the strategy RPG there's so many yeah. different ones out there that, that you could do there's you know fighting games there's so much and a lot of people you know always on their cell phone you know want to play mobile games so hell why not download a couple and just record me playing them talking about them and just and go from there just have fun with it yes sir Daniel before I let you go I'm gonna put you on the spot 
quick questions, quick answers, okay? What is something that you look forward yes. to this summer? The summertime, actually. This summer. I hate the yeah. cold. Like, I love the summertime. Like, just actually having some sun and going out, just going out with my kids and getting snow cones. So just the summertime in general, like, just being outside. It's, it's the yeah. Oh, yeah. School. Yeah. Swimming pool, snow cone, going to the beach. Just summertime in general. Uh, what is a TV series that you're watching right now that you recommend? Of course, anything Disney, like One Division, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Loki going to be coming up next. All those shows I watch on Disney Plus, I've stayed up to 2 in the morning to watch because all those posted like at 2 in the morning. What is uh, something that you learned about yourself during the pandemic? I miss seeing people. Like that's, I, I don't like being home. That's mm -hmm. one thing about me in the pandemic. Like I, I just hate being home. Like yeah. I have to be somewhere. Deal. Yeah. I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really a homebody. I have to be out somewhere. Yeah. And that was almost, part. oh God, this is hard. It's especially when you love people and mm -hmm. you can't see your coworkers. That's just tough. That's tough. Yeah. Cause that's one thing I miss about going to my full-time job is seeing the people. I really miss seeing people. Where can people follow you for the latest, like for all your uh, social media? So you can definitely follow us on Instagram. That's you, you're gonna find more information there. Uh, the Mark Show, and as you see the logo, I'll be on Instagram. Of course, the YouTube channel. Subscribe to us. Check us out. Give us a chance. Let's say for all ages, man, woman, child, babies. You no, know, definitely check us out. We got something for everyone. I post on Facebook the same videos that's on the YouTube channel. So, but if you don't find the latest of anything or we or most current pictures of like my action figures or Funko Pops or anything I collect or anything I talk about is going to be on IG, The Mark Show. All right. And all that information will be on the description below. Hey, Mark, it was a pleasure catching up with you. Whenever you're ready to be on that live feed channel, you let me know, man. Yes. So that's one thing I, I will promise you. I'll make sure my very first time live, I'll be on your show. First time live. I'll make sure I'm talking to you, buddy. All right, man. You have a good one.